Hello, we're doing more testing. Battleships versus the world. Yeah, we can do that. So what's y'all's offensive plan? We push around to E. Okay. Hopefully take them from behind. Okay. So the plan is what? Take D. We push flank. E. Ah, in the plank. battleships. Ah, we yeah, we can do that. I probably should have put reactor nozzles on. Eh, no. It'll be fine. Definitely not. You've got DC for days and enhanced repairability Z threshold. You're not yeah. gonna lease the thrusters to fucking flanking. Yeah, that's Sorry. very much not worth bringing at all, ever. Yeah, I have 16 DC teams, so. Exactly. Laid in. I'm just straight up going to a move. Turning up the engines now. All right, I'll get D done. I, uh, Hopefully, I don't get missile that much. Oh, yeah. We hear you, command. We're ready whenever you are. That is a lot of defenders in that PE network. Yeah. Ooh, Auras. Why? Um, I've got, I've, I guess I've got the flag. <laughs> You've got the defenders, huh? Yeah, well, my biggest fear is bloody containers, and flag doesn't do well against them. This is excellent thing at the decoy specifically. We only need one defender per side, but it's, I mean, more fine. is always better, I suppose. Oh, I'm being detected at Royal Red. That's an EBR. Uh, what's on your Solomon for engines? We're ready whenever you are. Dragonfly Whiplash. Dragonfly Whiplash. One small of each, and one large of each. Ah, uh, yeah, you're the cannon. So, yeah, you've definitely got the edge there. By the way, you generally want to uh, large I've dragons got two and small huh? whips. Because large dragons give you better stats than small dragons, and small whips give you I better know. stats than large whips. Okay. I, needed, I needed the power from a whiplash, and I didn't ah. want to invest in a reactor. I, I know that it's better. I just have my reasons not to use it. Just dragon. Thanks for the advice, though. I had way too many missiles off of that, too, because I'm a dumbass. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Those got something. Yeah, and they're gonna fucking miss it. Oof. Our signal's being jammed. There's a shuttle down today. This is looks like we're being jammed. That is about to run into a night cap. The enemy is securing Zone Atlas. We have secured Zone Comet. Testing zone atlas. That's all of jamming. Preparing the sword. It's all bellbirds? Always has them. Our sensors are all over the place. Of course, lay the in. Okay, don't die. I'll get my beam on that eventually. This evening. Wayne's is very wasteful. Marty's doing a really bad job with these missiles, which is not good. Awesome. Awaiting your orders, Commander. Your security be there happens. before you know it. They seem to be primarily be on there before e. you know it. At underway. The, I mean, yeah. We're ready whenever you are. Uh, I, think they, I think they weak flanked on wh where we strong flanked, which means it's gonna kind of not be a confrontation for a hot second. Enemy missile on the scope. Oh, what your eight five two eight four is? Well, it's very bad for us. What are our orders, Commander? You heard the orders. Let's go. Race for enemy fire. I'm just gonna send one of my hybrids at that trap. Yeah, try to align with my jammer. That will be best, I think. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, We're gonna get the A cap, which is what matters. Uh, Reseller or live meters.
Get us moving. My battleship is doing the best Secure impression of the slide. For me. Five, six, two, seven. I think that's the EVR. He detected oh, me ah. quite away. That's actually a lot of ships above us. He's not pointing at me at all. Fullburn! All engines! He be brain rot as me. That's so bad. I'm pretty sure they don't realize we're like here. Yeah, I don't, I think they might think we're something lighter since we are moving so quickly. I I have yet to be detected. The same. I did hit they that one. They, they they don't know we're here. I am well, running then. the fuck away from sea. Well, then we better make use of that advantage. Oh, that is a lot of plasma. Did anyone bring uh, the masquerade with the BB fake? I did not bring a mask right now. That would have been a good idea though. It would have been, but yeah. Waiting order. We're gonna sneak up on 2137 yes, and rip it shreds. Acting. That's gonna be funny. Yes it is. At once, Commander. Um I'm going to engage the scare and stare with specifically my frigate. Okay, uh, do you want me to hit it with the missile? Shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. We need it gone. We're ready whenever you are. Hulk Frider unmasking. Yep, I'm spotted. They know we're here. Well, that's a good thing we're well within range of them. Indeed. I'm gonna keep distance, you can close. Switching to high explosive into that shuttle. Missile away, too clear. I think I'm gonna get really close to them. That's incoming grape shot. They think we're shuttles. They do. No, he oh, probably well. just happens to have that loaded. No, they're still shooting it. Yeah, it takes a while to empty the tubes. And what are order? Anyone. I think. Actually, no, those are, those are D20s, I believe. Good missile. Receiving. Yeah, it's lost its antenna. It's gone. Uh-huh. That's 450 bearing on target. Perfectly aware we're here and what we are. Well, it's a bad day for them. Indeed, it is. Oh, oh. that's the entire dead ball. I don't think it's gonna go well for you. Uh, we'll see about that. Because we're also the entire death ball. It's the same. Basically. How's your ship looking? Shit. Uh, she's fine. Copy that. I'm just gonna battle short the living hell out of that ship. Makes sense to me. Um, four one nine five five nine has plasma priority target. Engage that uh, ASAP. Can do. Switching bottom laser to it. I'm gonna beam the Ocello. So dark Switching battle short. Copy that. Incoming. We hear you, this command. is certainly a timing for my mom to bring me food. <laughs> we are en route, Commander. Bon appetit. Jeez, they are just not hurting. Oh, they're absolutely hurting. We're underway. Oh, thank you, Bim PID. <laughs> no, then when I say they're not hurting, I mean I'm not hurting. I'm oh, they're not bored. hurting you. Yeah, yeah. Power. Not surprised. Okay, five one five four one five nine is priority. Five nine eight zero is priority. We are 
9264 is priority. All of these have plasma. Line ships incoming from here. Be, in, be mindful to not unmask on them. Okay, they are actually hurting me now with this much. Yeah, because you're um, you need to you need to roll roll your ship. Present undamaged armor. That Ocello is toasty. Uh, I would, but my ship does not turn. I f this is the only problem with the Optimus. Make it turn. Power output back to maximum. Mm, that's a lot of 450 HE. Preparing missile launch. Yes, Commander. Mm. We are on route. Changing Command. target. I think that might be done for. Okay, I need to pull my ship back down. Yep. There's a shuttle headed for Alpha, by the way. Hmm? There's a shuttle headed for Alpha. Copy. From Echo. Yeah, I'll try to get it. Oh, they're shooting me. Standing by. Okay, I don't think we can, we need to engage this hard. We got four points. Yeah, we, we can, oh, y'all can also just leave, by the way. Yeah. I did not realize we were ahead on points. It's very important to keep them. BB brain rot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep this battleship Thanks here. Just needs to fix up for a bit. Pulling out. We're low on missiles. Reactors for your orders, Commander. Underway. Okay, I see it. I don't think I'm gonna get uh, it at E, though. Plasma right now, so I'm keeping that side exposed to them. Yeah, okay, my ship's practically rolled and all the damage that they did is mostly superficial. And yeah, but I'll be fine. Uh, and about missile threats, not being defeated. We're ready whenever you are. <laughs> They're recapping Echo. Yep. Nice. The enemy secured Sony yeah, that shuttle's dead. Nice. I'll be able to get back on Epico well, eventually. I think we're best off just playing Ring Around Rosie unless we want to actually pull back here. Can do. Hello? How's, how are your games going? Are you already hosting? I mean, yeah. are you already playing? Yep. Correct. Mind uh, dropping me a ping if you uh, open the next one? Will do. Thank you. Welcome, John. Next one, someone can hit uh, 1860. It is slapping me on a bit of a bad time. Right. 1860 seems to be getting RPF'd. Uh, that was one south of because I wanted to... Okay. I wanted to... <laughs> just, uh, I just wanted to bring that up. I, I should have probably swapped oh. to HE rather than RPF, but I don't think it makes that much of a difference. If I'm being honest. Control reset. Cannot comply. Engine's dead. Engine's disabled. Negative. We cannot move. Negative. No. 
That's out of range. Standing by. Oh, is your drive disabled a T? Uh, it's coming back up. Alright. Couldn't pin the DR with the uh, grape, but it, it was uh, ridding me out. It'll just take it a second. I need to change these. Standing uh, by. We're gonna start enveloping here, us here. We need to pull back to the rock behind us. Okay. What are our orders, Commander? Right away, Commander. Right away, Commander. Engines are back. Jump to our left. We have power. Okay. This little my one CIC is just busy being fixed up. Do not. Shuttle up above. That one's actually in range. Missile away. Two clear. A cello inbound. I can't really hurt that. Are you gonna back up, or are your drives gone? I'm trying to move. Everything should be working. But it's not listening to me. Is that shut out? No, it's not. It's just not locking. Oh, because I'm getting double bell birded. That will do it. The sport shuttle just gonna get S3 haste. Well, right now it's getting on the Something's not right. I'm my controls aren't registering. Is your CIC online? Yeah, I've got a CIC still. Out of power. Okay, I'm gonna kill 4443 because that might be one of the only 450s they have right now. Copy that. One five nine. We have secured zone eclipse. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Underway. Yeah, they're starting to rip me apart now because they got on my on my bad side. Yeah, something's not yes, right. Commander. My game is not responding at all. Oh, that will do it. Anyway, they'll fix that. Now it is. Huh? Oh, they're actually shooting me. We are on route, Commander. Fucking Asalo. Hi, hi, Commander. Why? Why RPF? Why is RPF loaded? That should just have all our 450s. I want to test it. Do not follow in, in my footsteps. Yes, Commander. I'm not intending to in any way, shape, or form. Um, do you guys read if I quit, you guys will be able to actually get control of my ship? Probably. Yeah, you get all that for though. Yeah. Oh! How convenient! Enjoy. Yeah. It usually yeah, goes yeah. to whoever has the fewest shifts. The enemy is securing zone Waiting for your orders, yeah. Commander. But in this case, it also went to the guy who was, you know, working the battleships a hot second ago. Yeah. I think one of the turrets wasn't working, so you're gonna have to fix that, but otherwise it's still relatively... Uh, I've got it, I've got it. Royal Red is going to overload, by the way, so don't be near him. He's 
gonna go kaboom. That would be less than ideal, yes. Power has been restored. Uh, Artemis is gonna be gone here. I uh, we're on the way. Ow. Yeah, they're hitting my thresholds. Artemis is out of the play. Well, not yet, but she will be soon enough. Just be a big fucking target then, Haas. Look menacing. Try to stay out of visual range. Any chance I can get a stream to see what the hell's going on? Awaiting your orders, I'm gonna try and intercept 9264. What are you missing? I get masked by hole. Right. I don't get it. Fine. Wait, what's the problem? I'm not getting effective weapons fire. I'll be Artemis for some reason. You heard the orders. There we go, that's more like it. Standing by. Can you take care of the 761? Sending some missiles this way. Why are you all the way over here? What the fuck? Supposed to be. What are our orders, Commander? I fucked up. Probably the sport battleships. Standing by. That's pretty good. Yeah, knocked out. Looks like three of the plasma guns. Nice. It's got a fire. We're ready whenever you are. Moving. We're on the way, Commander. Aye, aye. We're on the way. Still operating, by the way. You could uh, get your PD barge with the 250s to hammer on it. 7621. Copy that. We are securing zone boxer. Uh, Artemis is back. Gun is still operational, so if you can somehow manage to. The ship's, the ship's the CIC is taken out, and uh, she's out of resource. Oh uh, no, she's still got her CIC. Bottom right. Oh yeah, they just gotta fix it, but it's a citadel, so it takes approximately 15 million years to do that. We hear you, um, man. Oh god damn it, my DD so rolled all the are. way back. I might not get 7301 because of that. No, no, that's not. Well, I'm a move. One. Up. Oh. Uh, we have secured so far. this works. Damn you. Ah, uh, got him. Dodging. The enemy 
That's gonna fuck up my rotation even more. Unfortunate. Was that the bulker? It was. It might have been, yeah. Not complaining about this. Um, to be fair, despite the battleships taking a pound in the entire game, they've actually done a decent job of distracting their entire fleet. Indeed. Capture dagger. Waiting orders. I've got guns for that. Or they're trying to, rather. Quiet. Command's on the line. I just need to make sure I can actually use the item this to turn. That's just not a good way it is anymore. Waiting orders. Nice. They're gonna keep knocking out the CIC, and I'm gonna keep bringing it back because it's a fucking citadel. In the wildest place that there possibly could be a citadel. Waiting for your orders, Commander. That's why I always put the citadel away. It just doesn't die. You really gotta get a better uh, track quality on that beam. Oh, laws are actually pretty terrible. Um, launch it. Oh, those are grazers. Great. Okay. Now they're at sleep. Let's see how they like this. They had more grazers! And wake up faster oh. than you think. Evidently. No missiles remaining. Artemis is knocked back out again. Got hit in the noggin. Well, what do we think? We wait that was interesting. Battleships, and we should have just gone to cap. Because that beam battleship couldn't do anything. And that 250 battleship well, couldn't do all those lands, so. The beam battleship was disabled by the player having apparently no ability to input it for like a solid five minutes at minimum when it was sitting behind that rock. He eventually alt afford, and that gave me control of it, but by that time it was already kind of fucked up and in a horrible position. For its breath, it didn't move after that. Like, it didn't take more damage after he stopped commanding it. Yeah, it, we stopped shooting it because I felt like it was not really a threat anymore. Well, it wasn't for most of that time because it was literally out of command, right? <laughs> but, mm. um, how, how, yeah. how did my 250s do? They didn't feel like they did anything. That sounds right. They what 250s? did okay. I mean, they fucked me up. The 250s that did 21,000 damage? Yeah, uh, that's, wait, that's what had not a small amount of damage. A battleship the... with 250 battleship. It did? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
But like, I, I uh, literally didn't notice them. I feel yeah. Like, I feel like they have a lot of listed damage, but didn't disable stuff very fast at all. And mostly was able mm -hmm. to achieve that because it was all being, all the damage was being focused on this beam being be next to it. Honestly, your beam DDs won you the game. <laughs> like, sure. That yeah, was it was beam DDs. That game much. was decided Honestly. by beam DDs. Goalkeepers sitting on every point. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel when you bring that much plasma, it, it's a huge nightmare for you to actually win. Because, like, you had so much plasma that it was actively hard for you to kill. Yeah, not, now yeah, you can't find anything else. Yeah, it was bringing three plasma liners. The they had four. No, we had three. Really? I yeah, wondering. just my flame. Okay. I thought someone else had it. My bad. No, I took mine out to bring jamming shuttles, which turned out to be kind of fucking useless, so... I think, too, if I'd brought rocket shuttles, I might have been able to skirmish better against the DDs. Mm. And then we might have I, been able to win on points. I think this brings up an interesting point of... I think what we saw here is we saw OSB hyper-specialized into countering the BB too hard. I and, mean, and they still lost against the BB, right? It's not like they killed yeah. the BBs and lost on caps. I, well, I'm is, going though. to have to hard disagree know, with you there because yeah, they, didn't, we... they didn't they didn't lose against the BB. They didn't. I I would have in fact argued like they took out the they took out the beam BB. But like it had a beam. Going... At the, it had a beam at the end of the game. If that beam BB was on a point, they wouldn't have capped that point, right? All right. Well, but it wasn't. It was stuck there for the rest of the game. So it's the point like is... you can't really say that the BBs are the reason that we lost. They but really like, weren't. I... I'm saying if you specialize that hard into beating them, and, like, it's one thing to lose on there, caps while you specialized into killing BBs. There was... Sorry, finish your sentence. But you specialized into killing BBs and then couldn't even kill the BBs. There yeah, was a dead. point... There was a point in that engagement where we should have just disengaged from the battleships, because the sure. main BB was fucked up, and we could have just ignored it and then gone and capped all the points. I said to the rest of the team as well i was like okay let's push around e pillar and try to kill them but that was a mistake we should yeah. have done that yeah we should, you have, we should have dropped down to a yeah the thing is you guys mission killed the beam bb it was pretty much useless after pretty a certain quick. point you had pretty quick right how fast did you say it was basically disabled uh, when it was trying to get back behind cover it most of yeah. the modules were practically the sh in the red, yeah. and you almost destroyed it before it actually had a chance to repair. So sub five minutes of engagement, yeah. but still, that that's a lot of ships shooting one battleship at yeah. the same time to do that. So and, and to be clear, it still had a functional weapon when it was doing that, and could have repaired back to full like damage capacity with its restores. And uh, no, there were no restores. No, right no, the there end. were there were five restores. I was watching that ship for most of the game. Yeah, no, that was the time I didn't actually have control of it. <laughs> yeah, it has zero it has zero remaining in the thing. Sure, but like in the break now. Sure. My point is that like it's not like in five minutes they killed that ship. In five minutes they temporarily disabled that ship and it could have restored itself back. You being a dead because of you not existing for five minutes is uh not hey, really is This is something I was going to get at, yeah. Like the ship died because it couldn't withdraw, because the game bugged out, right? If the game wouldn't have bu bugged out, it wouldn't have been stuck there in the first place, because we were, we were like, I, I called a tactical withdrawal with both of the battleships to pull back behind the rock where the 250 battleship went eventually, right? And that's roughly when the Artemis was, like, when, when Slayer's game bugged out and he stopped being able to control his ship, and that then forced me to overcommit my own to try and save it. So I think there's a point there that this is unreasonably good. No, we already knew that though. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is true. It's the combination. It's just I don't I don't think really there's an argument. Like you can argue one way or the other which one you think is better to get rid of in order for the game to be quote balanced in terms of where the battleship is right now. But I don't think there's particularly an argument to say that one is necessarily worse than the other. It's just, like, max repairability comes with its own issues, and max armor comes with its own issues. Yeah, that's fair.
It's just what what kind of gameplay do we want to see? And I can see the argument from both sides as to why one should be preferable over the other. I think I'd prefer seeing the thing that's been quoted as heel tank here personally because it's just more forgiving to players that are maybe not as good, right? Players that maybe peak the wrong angle and then get a shitload of 450 thrown at them because OSB does that and they get back into cover and then they can, you know, they can they can recover from that better. I, I think it's... I think I armor think... is better because it, for them, if you want to just make it easy for players, and I don't want to do this, but if you want to make it easy, 60 centimeters locks out 250s right then and there. And even 450s don't hurt that bad. Unless you use I plasma. Don't want to so... make it, I don't want to make it too easy. I don't want to make it easy necessarily. I want to make it forgiving. Yeah. There's a bit of a difference in that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, right. I'm gonna I talk. want if I want if someone makes yeah, a mistake okay. and manages to recover from it, I want them to be able to uh, do another, make another mistake. I don't want them to just be impervious to making mistakes, if that makes sense. Yeah, something else to consider is it's also more forgiving for the OSP side because you don't have mm -hmm. the fact that oh, 250 is locked out. You don't have the gun to fight this. You have to leave now. Goodbye. So mm -hmm. you you say that, but I actually don't necessarily agree. Um. If if would if we kept the heel tank, would the armor go back down to fifty two centimeters? I don't know. I would personally I like to see a little bit more than fifty two. Like but to see the more with I heel think... tank is too much. Yeah. The more I think about it, I, I was quoting fifty eight a lot. The more I think about it, the more I realize that fifty eight is too much for sure. I if, think fifty four or fifty five maybe, something like that. I, I kind of feel like the optimal solution here is to keep both buffs but lesser so like 54 or 55 millimeters and then make it like five percent extra heal on the axe for ten percent on the solomon something it's, like that it's just not going to be enough really is the problem the axford, and the axford's perfect the way that the it is fine. yeah the axford is yeah. fine we don't That's need to fair. touch the axford and so I, the, the issue is which, that the thing is the axford being fine sindar like, let yeah, other yeah, people yeah. speak sorry the issue is that armor works on breakpoints and the healing is a little more fluid. So if you touch both of them, I think inching armor back has a more dramatic influence than slightly inching the heal threshold back will. And so you, I really think you should touch one or the other. Yeah, I agree to an extent. I don't necessarily agree that touching armor is going to have more... Like, I think the dramatic... The difference in terms of how dramatic the change is going to be to the things that it's dangerous to... Or, sorry, the things that are dangerous to it are going to be more obvious depending on how you change the armor. But the heel tank, like, I really think that's going to encourage a lot more aggressive behavior because you can afford to do rock jumps and get shot by a certain amount and just heal back up to 90% what you were at before. Whilst with the armor, it's like, okay, can I peek? Oh, yeah, I can peek and get shot by 80% of the weapons in this game and be fine. Or 70%, I would say. I guess mass drivers, 450, torpedoes are the only things that really do a lot of damage to battleships with the current armor. Um, but, you know, when you're getting shot you're going to take more real damage if it gets through that armor. So it's it protects you from more in terms of like the weapons that are available, but it doesn't necessarily protect you from, from more in terms of the amount of damage you're actually taking. So like you could take a huge amount of damage in 20 seconds when you're moving with 20, 30 seconds moving between rocks or like peak or something, but with a 30% repair... You know, like, even even on main now, like, battleships don't really take too much damage on the first volley. It's usually the second volley that they start really getting hurt. So if you can kind of mitigate that, like, time between when you're getting shot and when you're not getting shot, you can heal back all that damage that you took in the first volley, and it doesn't matter anymore. So... You know, I, I think it's just less obvious with the heel tanking than it is with the armor. But it's also hard to tell because we're dealing with both of them at the same time right now, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know? but we, uh... 
removed the armor on that testing range test and the second volley still just deleted the battleship you, you can't actually heal through it you do have to mitigate the time for sure like you, you I, so i think that encourages more tactical play not aggressive play because if you're just lol i'm immune to most of your bullets with armor then you can just forehead into the enemy and not care but if you have if you have to leave combat or you're not going to be able to actually heal and you're just going to die then you have to be more careful with that i feel like really the only way the only solution to this is to have like the next update ch change one of one or the other and yeah. then you know yeah. see see what see how that changes and only then will we really be able to separate it that's what's going to happen. We're not going to see another iteration. It's going to be Mazer's going to choose one or the other. And frankly, it kind of seems like it's just a personal choice, to be honest. Like, I don't, it's, you know, more people from my perspective appear to think that the healing mechanic is a better choice. But I under, I don't know. Personally, I understand the argument from both sides. It's, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference either way it goes. It's well, I think we have evidence of, like, the healing mechanic being okay because the Astra didn't get more armor. It got more healing, and it feels better yeah. already. Yeah. And there's nothing broken about it. So they can we can keep that, and, like, the Solomon is something else. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe we let the Solomon, like, have less healing and more armor. Like, it has, like, only 10% or 15% of, like, uh, max repair. And but it still has... 58 centimeters, because I really don't want to fucking see a thing with 60 centimeters of armor. Yeah. You can ignore so much with it. I think if you really wanted to do like a halfway that's sort of like on the lower end of making the battleship like, like it'll still be good, right? But it's not going to be like as crazy as doing either 60 and no repair or 30 and no armor. Um, it's doing 56 right. and 20%. Like, 56 and 20% yeah, yeah. is probably, like, that is actually just the halfway point, really, between the two of them. And I don't know how much that would change, but it, it wouldn't be too crazy on either end. And I actually think it would be worse than doing a lot more in either or the other, but at least it would still be, like, good, you know? So. Right, right. All right. Are you guys going to throw up another lobby? I think I'm good for now. Uh, yeah. Um, I think we've done. We've really beaten this horse into the ground. Yeah, yeah. Honest. I think we were yeah. done with it pretty much last night, and then we're just doing some yeah, follow-ups for couple. confirms. Yeah. Okay. Um. Thanks for the games, though. I'll be on a bit later. Play some more if you yeah. care. Maybe. Talk to you guys later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Dark. I wanted to yeah. ask you. Did you have the, uh, Yukon game? Like a few days ago, like two or three days ago, there's a U game on Yukon play. Do you ha have that recording? Uh, probably. We played a bunch of Yukon games. If it was a testing game, then yeah. Yeah, it was a testing game I was in. I just wanted to be able to show that to Mazer. I can say, hey, like, CHs are fine. Yeah. And it, it's a pretty good example. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. I'm, I'm recording right, right now. And thank I'm gonna... you. But welcome. welcome. I'm going to close this out and then uh, probably pop off. Yeah, I want to pop off too. Toodles. Okay, so there's that. We're pretty much at the end of things. It's going to have to be a choice made by old, good old John Nebulous. I'm going to have to make that decision. What do you think, Kitty? Give the beam battleship missiles. All right, well, you heard it here first, folks. Battleship missiles needs to be viable. Out of the mouth of cats. Obviously, I'm yammering at this point. We've been yammering for a while. So that concludes, I think, our uh, testing games. Very good, very informational. And I uh, hope it's, hope it's fucking useful to someone. Doodles.